Hey guys, this is Dennis here. Today we're going to do assignment 10-1 from the JS Tutorial Workbook 1, version 10.1. And the first steps we're going to do is to set up. So we're going to create an MXD. And just to remind you for anyone that's seen my other videos, um, GIST 10-1 is where I'll be working in. Most likely you'll be working in the GIST 1. And this is just because this is version 10. This is 10.1 for 10-1 for me. So you're gonna go into your my assignments, chapter 10, 10-1, and you're gonna name it uh, whatever you like. I'm gonna call mine 10-1, and hit save. And in the next step, we're going to create a geodatabase. So it's gonna be the same thing. Right, you go to Esri Press, go into your folder. My assignments, chapter 10, 10-1. You'll see the MXD is there. You'll just right click it, go to new, and file JO database. And I'm going to call mine 10-1. And you also want to store relative path files, path names, excuse me. So you're going to go into here and store relative path names data sources. Just click that, turn on, hit OK. Now the next step is to import a bunch of files into your GDB. So you right click your GDB, you go to import, you're going to go to feature class multiple. And then you're just going to go into your data and then it's going to be in your 3D analysis GDB. And they want buildings, curbs, topo, and rivers. Click add. And they also want one more thing, which is in a different folder. It's in your Pittsburgh folder. And then the CBD, which stands for Central Business District. And they want hist sites. So just hit add. You want to make sure it's in the correct geodatabase. So this says 10 1, so this is the correct one. So I'll hit OK. And so I'm going to take a second. Okay, you can see here it completed. So we'll just expand this and we'll see it's all in here. Now the next step is to add the buildings in the hist sites. And what it wants you to do is to create new two new feature classes called hist site buildings and non historic site buildings. So to do that, we're gonna go to selection, select by location. And we're going to pick target layer, which is going to be buildings. And source layer is going to be histocytes. And we're going to intersect the source label features. We're going to click OK. So as you can see here, when we open up the attribute table, we go down, you'll notice things are selected in the buildings. So all these buildings are inside the histocytes. So we're going to go to the buildings. We're going to right click it, go to data export data. You're going to see export selected features should already be selected. And we're going to change the output to, this is 10-1, so it's already here. And it wants us to call this hist site Alright, now at this point, I'm just going to save it just in case anything goes wrong. And now it wants us to open up ArcScene. So, just to make sure everything's okay, you're going to go to your toolbars, 
whoops, excuse me, go to Customize Extensions, you're going to make sure your 3D analysis is turned on, because if it's not, you'll see a, you do not have a license for this or something like that. So look, Close, and if you needed to get to it, you go to Toolbars, 3D Analysis, I'll turn it off real quick, 3D Analysis, or you can also just right click and it'll, same thing. And this button here is going to be the Launch Arc Scene button. Okay, and now it asks you to add all the features in your file geodatabase. So, we're going to go to our geodatabase, which is going to be in my assignments, chapter 10, 10-1, GDB. And we're going to add all these. Now I know right away we can remove this and this, because we don't need these. We have hist and non-hist uh, site buildings. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a tin. Now, they did this in the tutorial, but we'll do it again here. So we'll just go to search, and we'll look for create tin. You'll see create tin 3D analysis. So the output, and we're going to put it here in our assignment 10. And we'll call this um, GTH. And the coordinate system, it wants us to use NAD 1983 State Plain Pennsylvania South. Now if yours isn't favorites, you can just search NID, NAD, go to projected coordinate system, state plane, and it wants US feet, so it'll be in this folder, but I'm just going to use the one up here, and we'll import the topo. Now, the book says to use hard lines, I believe, in the tutorial, but it's not that important, I think we changed it, oh, oh it's fine, I'm just going to use the hard lines because that's what it says in the tutorials. I'm going to click OK. And we can see it's doing something here. And so it's here. I'm going to turn off the topo for now. And it asks us to change a few things about this. So we're going to open up the properties, go to symbology, and it asks us to use f uh, faces with the same symbol. So we'll add and it wants to turn off edge types and elevation. So we'll hit OK. And it wants us to change it to early desert tan. Alright. Now it wants to drape all the features to the tin. And it wants to use it to using a layer offset of 10 for all layers except rivers. And for rivers we'll use 5. So the first one we'll work with is um, is the site buildings. Go to properties. We'll go to base heights. We'll do floating on a custom surface. And it wants us to do this by 10. And we'll apply. And then we'll go to extrusion, extrude. And it wants us to do stories times 10 we'll hit apply so you can see here those are the histocyte buildings and we'll do curbs next so we'll go to base heights floating on a custom surface 10 apply okay a non-historic, same thing, 10, and we'll go to extrusion, I'm going to, same thing as before, stories, times, 10, hit apply, and give it a second. And now rivers. Go to base types. And on this one, it says to do it as five. So that's okay. Five. And these are our rivers.
and now it wants us to change the shading for our non-historic so we go to properties go to display and it says to use 60% transparency so we'll hit apply okay Now as you can see here, you can see the histo, we can zoom in, we can turn it around, and these are all the historic sites, these buildings, and that's about it. Don't forget to save it, um, you can just call this 10 as well. Now, the next part is to create a PowerPoint presentation, so that's up to you as to whether you have to do that or want to. Um, as far as anything else, everything here is done. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you want to subscribe or like, that's up to you. I appreciate it. If there are any other tutorials or assignments you want me to do, I'll take a look at them and see if I have time. And uh, thank you for your time.